Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to episode 263 of my update adventures Let's Play. This is a Let's Play where I've been playing through the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the console, building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing a little bit of building and really finishing another project. Because if you don't know, on this world, I leave a lot of projects in the, like, kind of semi-unfinished state. Because, again, you get really passionate when you start something, and then you realize, like, oh, this is, like, another several hours. And then, you know, you put it on the back burner, you work on something else. I'm sure everyone's done that in Minecraft. Or maybe it's just me and I'm the weird person. But anyway, I figured, you know, I, there's a lot of projects around here that I really do want to finish. And today I figured I would merge a, you know, an old project, the Skyrail, that one over there, by the way, in case you're curious. I figured I would merge that with an existing, uh, or like, use it, you know, use something new because T43 just came out last week, by the way. You're probably already aware, but just in case you're not, good news, there's an update six, six days, yeah, six days away, uh, six days ago now. So, uh, yay, exciting times in the past. But yeah, basically what I figured is, um, you know, I've got this giant Neverwart farm now. And it's got some use at some point in the future, but why don't I try and use, like, the Neverwarp blocks for some use? Because Neverwarp blocks are just, uh, you know, we could, we could, uh, you know, dart around the subject and say, Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's got character, and it's, it's sassy, and all those nice words. But should be told, you know, uh, Neverwarp blocks, they're just, they're just not good-looking blocks. And basically, that's, that's okay, you know, that, that there has to be bad-looking blocks for there to be good-looking blocks. It's a, I understand that, it's a perfect ecosystem, but rather than just saying, Oh, yeah, the, this block sucks, and let's never use it, because I have a bunch of Neverwarp, and I have this giant farm, which, uh, I, I, if, if you haven't seen the video on it, basically I made a video where I turned my old Neverwarp farm into like an automatic one. In fact, actually, let's, um, since we're here anyway, let's clear it because it's always so satisfying to me to like watch this thing go. Just in case you haven't seen it. Okay, look at this. You see the, you see the water flush down and just row by row it gets destroyed and I uh, know it, it's very, very satisfying to me. I feel like, you know, like if I was a real life farmer and there was anything like this, I, I'd be very much okay with that process. But yeah, so then you, you slowly turn it off and all of the Neverwarts go from here into this little uh, hopper right here, and back into the chest. So since we've got all of those there, we can go through, pick up some more Neverwarts, and now we've got some more beautifully ugly blocks to play around with. Or I guess they're not beautifully ugly, they're just they're just ugly. But yeah, we've got a lot of these blocks to play around with, and you can even see, like, uh, they, 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 they turn into, like, massive stacks of, like, ten each. So, like, our inventory is already full again, and now we have to, like, throw some stacks manually down there. You can see just how fast this multiplies, and that means we have so much Neverwart to use. But what should we use it for? Well, I figured, you know that Skyrail project I was just mentioning is what I was doing today before I got <laughs> sidetracked by, uh, uh, by the Neverwart farm? Well, let's go back to the Skyrail and let's try and use the Neverwarts in a build at the end. Because I think the reason I never really did too much of the Skyrail is like, well, where does it really go? And right now the answer is not really any place. But, oh, let's we need to take this up there. But I figured, why don't we... Um, why don't we improve that answer? Why don't we make it go somewhere good by building something at the other end using Neverwarp blocks and using slime blocks? So, yeah, I, I have very few slime blocks, slime balls in my world, actually. Even though I've got a bunch of slimes everywhere, I never kill them because it's annoying to kill slimes. Like, even at my uh, sugarcane farm, it's actually like a hotbed for slimes, but it's, it's just annoying to deal with them. So I don't, uh, but I, I, sh I should be doing that at some point soon. But I figure, you know what, four slime blocks, that's enough for my mental fancy of this. And then a bunch of, uh, you know, Neverwarp blocks. Let's use these together and make something cool. Like, maybe we could make the way off this, like a giant jump down into, like, a big passageway of Neverwarp blocks. Again, haven't probably considered it, just figured, let's just wing it and go ahead and do that. So, yeah, let's take the Skyrail to the Skyrail, because... It's like, I wanted, I wanted it to be four separate systems that made a big square, but because obviously the world expanded, they're almost like irrelevant now because of how short they are. Like, <laughs> again, this, this goes halfway across the world, but halfway across the old world. So now it's like just a little, it's a little hop in the, in the new, in the, in the grand scheme of things now, which is why I think the Metro is going to be a cool little concept because I can actually make that go. All the way around. Anyway, so uh, yeah, another thing I wanted to mention uh, about uh, the Let's Plays is I figured, you know what? Uh, every single time I record these Let's Plays, every now and then, like, I'll make a giant mistake in the first, like, few seconds, and I'll restart, or, like, it'll even happen, like, a ten minutes or something. And I figured, you know what, unless there's, like, crazy noises or, like, something which literally ruins the recording, I wanted to always do it the first time, because then it's a bit more like a real-life conversation, which I know is a confusing train of thought. But basically, what I was thinking... Also, how long has this actually gone for? Okay, at least another 26 blocks. But I was thinking, like, you know, in a real-life conversation, it is just, like... Here's the flow of thought from one person to the other. Uh, but <laughs> one per my, 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 my enunciation stare is pretty bad. I said, I've said one person to the oven there. Obviously, you could all work out the limit. One person to the other. That's kind of just how that goes, right? And I figured not. Why don't we do something a bit more like that uh, for this? So it's a bit more kind of natural. Also, by the way, to get all of this wood, I had to chop down, like, basically a quarter of a forest. It was, it was like, 
so much effort just to get wood. And I, 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 I'd forgotten just how long, you know, it takes to do stuff like that. And oh, oh, also, in case people are wondering, like, why I only get diamond certain tools, like, I have a diamond hoe, but I won't buy a diamond axe. The reason for that is that a diamond axe uses, like, three diamonds, and it's, of all the tools, a diamond um, axe is, like, the least improved over the iron variant, so... Uh, if you look at a diamond pickaxe compared to an iron pickaxe, it's got a really hefty improvement on every block. But a diamond axe is just like, it's like 0.1 seconds faster than an iron axe. And even then, it's like, that's pretty much its only function. Whereas this pickaxe, you know, this this can be used for so many things, and so can this one and this one. Look, I have a pickaxe problem, I don't have an axe problem, so I only use, apparently, stone axes, because I ran out of iron in my world, because I've used that all time. You know, there are big problems going on here, but today, I didn't want to talk about those big problems. I wanted to talk more about, um basically how I'm going to make this, this sky rail work. Because again, even though it doesn't really go anywhere right now, I figured it's such a scenic route. Like, you look around, and you can see the uh, the giant floating castle over there, just in the distance, but still. You can see the giant boat, which I think is pretty cool. You can see the, uh, I think it's the only naturally spawning MC village in my world. Oh, it, there's a second one, but the second one, there was a particular problem with it. So this is, you know, it's the only, na it's the other only natural one, or like, the most bizarre natural one at least, because it spawned on a hill. Some of the blocks, as you can see there, like, generated, then degenerated. Basically, weird stuff happened with this village. And, uh, yeah, I figured that's going to be cool. And also, this is where my, like, fastest little pathway in the world goes. Where, uh, because if just over there, you can see... Actually, you can't see it just yet. But just over there, you can see how, uh... Actually, let's, let's build towards it while we do this. But just over there, you can actually see how it's, like, uh... It's, like, stone and ice and trapdoors. It's the fastest movement you can get while just sprinting. And I figure there's all this cool stuff together. And there's even a giant, uh, building block here. Like, look at this. As, as I was talking, I noticed that there's this giant flatlands that's, like, beautifully untouched. And, uh, I can either un leave it untouched to make it, like, my beautiful place in nature where I go and kill cows and stuff. Or I could build something giant on there. Again, so many options with this. And, um, I'm looking forward to exploring them today. So... Yeah, that's what we're going to be mostly doing. Building the sky rail all, all the way over to, like, I want to say, like, between the village and there. Not sure exactly where in between, but somewhere in between. And actually, wait, should we make it go diagonally that way, then? Yeah, we'll make it go this way until about here, and then we'll finish it right there. So is that... Yeah, that's that's pretty much diagonal from here, I think. So, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get, we need to get a nice diagonal line going. And in case you're curious as to what this is, like, why I'm doing the blocks underneath the rail. This is, like, the block so I can place stuff, like, uh, redstone torches and all that stuff, without having to go through too much effort. Because I, I want to... Again, this is meant to be, like, a scenic route, I guess, at this point. Like, just a really nice minecart ride. And uh, the big problem with doing it that way... Let's look at the shadow. It's really... Like, some of the blocks are just missing from the shadow. Anyway, like, like I said, uh... So it's meant to be a really, really scenic route, right? So, as you can see... Um... You know, it goes for all the stuff. But uh, to do that, that means I want to have the sides made out of glass, which means I need to have stuff going under there. Like, it's mostly just the, you know, the redstone torches for the powered rails. But I figure, you know, just in case there's anything I need to place down there, let's do it this way. So I'm going to make it look like it's just a giant monolith beam, maybe, or something like that. Again, no proper consideration besides it needs to be there. We can, we can make it look lovely if it needs to, or we can make it not. So here, I think, is going to be the end, right? Like, we'll have, like, a giant circle here or something. But now the, the tricky task comes of actually trying to make the uh, the railway attach here. Because getting a getting um, minecarts to go diagonally is like... It's always like a dizzy process. So I want to see if there's like an easy alternative. Or maybe I should just... Oh, wait, wait. Cool idea. Why don't I make it so the minecarts fly off the edge onto a rail down below? I think that might kill you, actually. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe that's how I could use my slime blocks. They could bounce... They could go over the edge onto the slime block and then bounce their destination. That's an idea so crazy, it just has to work, right? Like, well, that's actually not how I, how craziness works. But still, it sounds so, so crazy that it has to be done, right? And that's something I think I'll experiment with a bit. So, yeah, this will be the Sky Rail that's like... Because, uh, you know, in, okay, in real life, this this is something I understand. There are, there are places, there are like train rides you can take that are like, aren't even really meant for like, getting you around. They're just like, well, you know, it used to take you somewhere, and now it just goes somewhere really beautiful. And uh, there's, there's quite a few of those in the world, which is a little bit puzzling to me. But then a part of me goes, you know, at this point, you know, like, unless it's, like, faster than a plane or a route a plane doesn't take. Like, I, I travel to London because I, it, it's probably not very practical for me to fly uh, something that's, like, you know, an hour drive or something like that. But, yeah, um, that, that, that's, that's the reason, you know, that the train is in that situation. But, you know, if I, if I was going to go to, like, Ukraine, I wouldn't take a, a 40-hour train. I would just, I would just be like, yeah, let's, let's, let's hop on a flight and do that in three hours. And I guess, logically, therefore, you know, you either close them down or 
maybe because they're over, built over like stuff that's really cool now, you keep them alive. Which, again, bizarre stuff to me, but some people just love the process, and maybe that makes sense. Anyway, you know what? Maybe, maybe we should do like viewer questions. Would you ever do a train ride just for fun? The, the answer is no, but y y <laughs> if you would, then maybe you'd like to come check out the Sky Rail. Da -da -da -da. Um, so yeah, well, <laughs> she like that little sales pitch. I think we should work on this block here first, so because it's a lot easier to work from the back forwards than from the forwards backs, well, forward back. So we just make it three blocks each time, and the three blocks are just always changing. Okay, so we might need more blocks here because again, we we need the middle to be like a shifting diagonal. But for now, if we just place all of these, again, we'll use up all of this forest that we chopped down all in one place here. And uh, and then if we just, I guess, let's chop some more up. Again, this like the, the amount of effort that it takes to get wood is like, it's something that I just hadn't experienced in some time. Because how often are you really building with like oak wood blocks? Like there's, there's so many blocks in Minecraft now that you, you don't even realize just how important some of them are. So anyway, while we, while we finish this bit up, I want to talk about something that like, I, I, so if you don't know, it's really hot in my room. That's a key thing to bear in mind here. And as a result of it being hot in my room, there's a bunch of bugs just always. That's, that's just the way things are. And uh, also, don't ask why it's hot in my room in summer. It, it, it's an issue that probably won't follow me to the new house. But for now, just bear in mind, it's a fact. There are bugs. Bugs are annoying, right? That's that's a fact every every human can agree on. Bugs are really annoying. And it, and then it, but it made me realize, like, why are bugs annoying when they're really uh, small? Because most small things get cute. So imagine imagine a polar bear, right? Now look at a, a you know a polar bear cub, and it's like, oh, it's it's a, it's a tiny baby panda, and that works for like most animal. Oh, we need to place torches on this, don't we? Well, we didn't do it so far, so I guess it's okay to not do it in the future. And yeah, if if you make most things tiny, they get much cuter. But I feel like the big exception to that rule. So now we'll go this way a bit, like just for a few blocks, and uh, just so we can like. We can either have a dead end here, or we can make it bounce off. Or we can make it like a piston where you can like kind of pick your own fate. Again, I, I like that idea. Okay, so now that's all decided and chosen, now we can either bounce off there, down to there, or we can not. So now the tricky bit comes in like getting this jump down correctly down. So there is a chance I will die and lose all of my stuff. And, you know, if you're going to do this sort of thing, I would recommend saving so that, you know, I don't have to give up 12 minutes of progress and... Just say, oh, yep, uh, all that was silly, and 24 levels are gone. But my plan is to jump down, land on a slime block, and then, like, kind of test the jump, see how far I bounce up, and then use that information to work out how far down this hole should go. Okay, wish me luck. Uh, oh, okay, I did it perfectly nice. So just like that, you can see, I went up maybe about half the distance, if I had to guess about 15 blocks. So we went another... 15, 20 blocks below ground. We'd probably go about 20, 25 blocks up. Again, making making numbers up at that point. But let's just assume 20 blocks down equals 20 blocks up. So that's like a perfect uh, balance loop right there. And let's make that our giant hole. So this, this slime block is the perfect block in front of there. This is the base of the hole. This is going to be replaced with, eventually anyway, our little thing. So again, this, <laughs> this is a bizarre project, but it's the only way I can think of of using... Um, Nevwarp blocks, because um, I, I want this to be like a really ugly thing that makes everything else around here look better. Because I, I really do believe in in the concept of like, I, I think I think yin yang is the easiest way to describe it. But like the concept of like, if oh is that a spider jockey? No, it's just a skeleton. The more good in your life. Oh, I'm pretty sure I placed a bed in here at some point in my no. Okay, I just broke in here. There's a bed somewhere in this village. I swear, I just have no idea where I placed it. So I guess we're going. All the way to the Frozen Palace, or... Yeah, I, I really should pick my bed locations a bit better, shouldn't I? Oh, you know what? We got wood. We've got... Okay, so let's just do this. We got wood. We got wool. Let's just make a bed. Place one down right here. And now I hope the skeleton doesn't get to us in time. <laughs> but yeah, I really believe in the con concept of, like, balance and, like, you know, without without good, there is no bad. Or without bad, there is no good. Because I know the, my favorite way of illustrating this one is... Uh, if you ask it, this this is some like I don't know where this is from, but like it's oh if you ask a fish, so uh, you know what does water look like? You know what the fish will respond with? What is water? And imagine if uh, you ask someone who's never felt pain, what what feeling what not feeling pain feels like? They'll be like ah, oh, I I didn't know that was a feeling. And it, it, again, this is this is a thing all the time. And it's not to say that it's good to it, you know, that you should go out and try to experience anything bad. But it just means that the more bad there is, the better the good will be. It's just you know like by pure like comparisons this is cool stuff like um it's it's a common fact i think that like 
the amount of pain you felt in your life, like the most pain you've ever felt at one point in time. So if, if you've broken an arm, for instance, I don't know if that's actually painful, but let's let's assume it is for now because that makes this argument whole, make, that whole thing make sense. So if you assume breaking your arm is the most painful thing, then people who break their arm feel less pain when they do anything else physical. Like, you know, they when they stub a toe, it doesn't hurt quite so much or anything like that. Uh, whereas if you've never even have any form of pain, if someone like, you know, prickles you a little bit, you'll be like, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's actually true. But yeah, it's, it's close enough to the truth. That I, I feel comfortable endorsing it anyway. But yeah, that's that's the point, the point I was raising here. Like the more the more bad there is. Uh, without, without bad, you can't have good. And therefore, I'm going to have a bunch of bad blocks in this hole here. So I think I'm going to remove the walls and replace them with Neverwalk blocks. So for now, just simulate that there's Neverwalk block because we have to get the jump done first. In fact, actually, do we need to get the jump done first? I'm not even sure. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get out of here, am I? Yep, that was a poor decision. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Okay, so let's just... Now, okay, so we'll just do this all the way out using Neverwalk blocks. For now, we'll just make this, like, 12 blocks deep because I fear going too much deeper will cause problems. So we'll place our free slime blocks just around there and then we'll bounce up with these Neverwalk blocks. And then once we get high enough... We remove the block of lovers, and uh, as long as this looks like okay now, then we can improve it. We can surround it with gravel, and we can just make people go, "Ah, oh, my life, my life has ended. Everything is awful." And then they bounce up out the hole, and like two seconds later, it's all okay. Like, like the concept of uh, you know on roller coasters, they make you go really, really slow, and you're like, "Ah, oh, this thing's boring," and then you go, whoa, 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 or you know, whatever simulated roller coaster noise you'd like to believe. Oh, and you know what? Let's do this last one here too, since I can place another whole stack of these Neverwalk blocks. Let's make sure we at least get one more road done, since that's going to annoy me otherwise. So remove all of these blocks. Takes the full damage. It's fine. Place one here. And then break... Oh, I should have broken down one of these nets, But I didn't, so <laughs> that's okay. Um, straight all these blocks going upwards. Place some. Bouncy, 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 bounce. Remove the rest. Yeah, look at that. Easy. So, uh, yeah, with that said, look at, look at this. All perfectly done. If this goes perfect, I should land and, like... Uh, fall just on here on what will be gravel eventually but it's now just grass or whatever and it should not hurt me if it hurts me i need to go down another how many blocks it hurts me by and if it kills me then i know i've definitely done something wrong so yeah that's a, <laughs> that's a good tip for life in general if you die probably probably something going wrong there but yeah wait, wait, so I, I mentioned a roller coaster right and the roller coaster i was picturing you probably couldn't see this because that's not how the internet works but uh the roller coaster i was picturing was like uh it's one from disney it's like it's 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 the typical theme of like oh we're going through the wild west but they have like explosions they have this and that and it's all working like really really well and something about disney roller coasters i don't, I don't understand how they do it or why they do it or if they actually are better or if you just believe they are because everyone says they are but they do some pretty amazing stuff when it comes to that uh, when it comes to roller coasters and i, I was impressed is, is all i'll say there i was i was really impressed by oh there's a ladder back here it only goes halfway up but there still is a ladder so yeah, this is actually the laziest. I, I think I need to just finish this with glass at some point and just never did. Because it's a really cool minecart elevator. But the fact that it's just surrounded by dirt blocks makes it look so ugly. But yeah, now, now we just need to... Uh, I've got rails on me anyway. Probably shouldn't be using them here, but whatever, I guess. <laughs> so I place some around here. Just like this, because these are the most essential ones, really. And uh, yeah, now we've got our little recreational roller coaster. Oh, that, I messed that up a bit, didn't I? Oh, in fact, that, that, that is meant to be this. This is meant to go this way. I don't know why it keeps bending into the wall rather than, like, this. Okay. So then we go that way, and this goes like that. And you get yourself a perfect loop. Fun fact, if you want to have your minecart loop around, this is a really easy way to do it. At least that I've found so far. And now we can go back and we can test if our if our thing works well. Do you, do you feel hope lose your mind instantly or not? But yeah, anyway, while we're on the way there, uh, yeah, it was like a traditional gold gold mine thing where you're going around and you're in a, a wagon and stuff. And I was just really impressed with it. And I was just impressed with, like, Disney as a whole. And I thought Disney was, like, you know, the thing for, like, children and, you know, like, the women that are, like, very young and or, or, or like to, you know, relive that little part of themselves. But, um, no, it's actually just an interesting theme park. And part of me really wants to go again now. But, you know, they're all, on, they're all really far away from me. I think there's one in Paris, but they don't speak French there and... You know, who wants to deal with people speaking French to you? So, yeah, I'm not I'm not sure what the solution is. This is definitely not right. That is definitely not deep enough. This is going to hurt a bit. Hopefully not too much. But, you know, let's just... Maybe we need... Okay, you know what, let's just do it. 
Uh... Okay, so how many blocks of... Okay, so I took three and a half hearts of free full damage. So that means I fell an extra seven blocks I shouldn't have. Which means I need to go down at least eight or nine blocks. Let's say I fall ten blocks more. So five... Yeah, yeah, that's, that's doable. That's doable. So let's... Since we need a way to stack ourselves out, which is the really important key part here, we go down another eight blocks, let's say. So... This is one, this is two, three, four, five, six. And now we have to remove all of these. And then we should go two more blocks down, place the slime blocks, and we'll have ourselves the dream. Again, this this seems like a ridiculous thing by itself, but again, every project in this world is ridiculous if you really think about it, so this is just more of the same in a way. And oh, but so if you're wondering like, oh, where'd they go? Oh, I didn't actually break them. Okay, there we go. If you're wondering why it's only eight blocks down when some of that's going to go up, basically slime blocks are like a massive, a massive like diminishing returns thing in terms of like, if you give them like, if you bounce like a hundred blocks onto a slime blocks, uh, sorry, if you bounce like ten blocks onto a slime block, you might bounce like, let's make up a number eight up, but if you bounce, um, if you bounce how many it'll be, let's say a um, hundred blocks, you you're not going to bounce eighty up. You're gonna bounce like 25 up, and if you bounce 200, it's gonna be like 30 up. Like the, again, diminishing returns. Easiest way to put it. If you don't know what the point of diminishing returns is, maybe we could explain. Well, basically, there's a point in most things where you, you, if you throw, if, so if you throw significantly more in, you don't get significantly more out. So think about this in like anything that goes to the high end. So high end PCs, if if you buy a really garbage PC, like one that costs a hundred dollars, or like. A laptop that costs like two hundred dollars. Again, I'm saying dollars because international. But you know, if, if you buy a really low-end version of a thing, it's gonna suck really badly. If you spend double as much, you're gonna get a product that's not only double as good, but it's gonna be more than double as good. And there's a point at which not only are you not so, and then there's a point. Let's say at a thousand, it's maybe a roughly five times better, and then two thousand is roughly like eight times better. But there's a point where you're spending so much more. And getting very little extra. And that is the point of diminishing returns. So just in case you haven't heard of it. Um, I guess it's pretty important. I don't, I think it's important life stuff to know. But that's because you know, I care. If you don't care. Then I guess. Well I mean if you don't care about anything. I guess it's not important. Like if you don't care about dirt. Then not important to you at all. Goodbye sweet dirt. Um, but if you don't care about like anything in life. I guess learning it is the real silly thing. Oh I, I can make pathway blocks now. Which means I need to make a path from one place to another. I don't know what this path, where this path is going to be, but I know I need a pathway. So maybe that's like the the viewer suggestion for today. Like, where should I put a path in this world? Where where does a path even make sense? Because I can genuinely not picture one. So yeah, let me know in the comments, you personally, what your what you think, um, where you think a path would make sense. And uh, yeah, fun thing actually, I learned this very recently. So before we go, is that the shift when you uh, like the shift I've noticed in my channel over the past couple of years is that the comment section is less people talking to me, like it used to be when I just played around Let's Plays, and it's more people that talk at you, because they realize that you're not going to respond to every single one, or they might not even think you look at them all, and therefore they, again, they don't talk to you, they talk at you. And it's like, that was a smart moment, and okay, come on, perfect bounce, right? Right, right, right? Oh, it's got to be two blocks further down, but I think I can just surround this by gravel and make it all better that way. So, well, not better, but... <laughs> Worse, more effective that way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a bunch of gravel in here. I'm gonna run my Neverwart farm like three or four more times and just get all the Neverwart. And I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna make this really ugly hole in the ground a thing. And for now though, we made a sky rail. We made it have a bizarre concept. And uh, oh wait, I need to run. A okay, wait, wait. One more test here. So since we've got a little bit of time, I wanted like test bouncing minecart in there because I feel like it's not gonna work the way I think it will. But a part of me wants to believe anyway, so <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be, like, putting a minecart through there. It'll probably kill me, but it also might not, so let's give that a try. Because, I mean, that's the thing I said I would be doing with it, and to not do it just feels like I'd be missing out at this point. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to be racing knight there, which uh, racing knight is always a bad decision because knight usually wins. Oh, also, another thing. Okay, so next, here's your little preview for next episode. I think what I might be doing is um, I might just be, uh, like, actually, uh, the villagers trying to, like, kill them off, get new ones, so they'll give me a good enchantment. Because since I'm going through anywhere to go to sleep, just because that's, uh, that's a thing, uh, basically, because when if I get a new villager, they've got a chance of spawning with a mending enchantment. So if I just kill this one, for instance, because 
Oh, that's an awful trade. So let's kill. Kill villager. Actually, do wine golems not like you when you kill their villagers? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works. But I know they'll kill... Wait. Oh, okay, wait, wait, okay, that's... We have confirmed, we have confirmed. Oh, okay. That... Let's let's not. Okay, so that's a bit worrying. <laughs> Do not attack iron golems. That's useful life lesson we just learned. So I think they'll. Oh wait, wait, what? 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 Just what? Can iron golems attack through walls? Let's let's get that to happen again. Wait, instant replay. What? How did you just do that? Wait, is there an iron? There's no way that could have worked. He he attacked through the wall. I guess it's a glitchy wall for some reason, and. I I died and lost like 23 levels. Tw I lost 17 levels because of a bug. Sad face. Sad face. Anyway, but yeah, we we have important things to be doing today, and uh, let's let's just let's just get that finished. Cause no, I'm I'm kind of bummed out by the whole uh, like you know what? we're gonna kill you to death and that's just how we live our lives thing. So I'm gonna go back towards them. They don't seem to be angry anymore, so I guess that's positive. But I'm gonna kill a whole bunch more villagers now, and I'm gonna try and get. Villagers with uh, trades for uh, the brand new enchanted books. Because I've been fishing for the longest time and just not finding anything. So that's... Well, I found my I found the most amazing bow the first time. But besides that, I found nothing. And, you know, sometimes not finding anything hurts. So, yeah, let's get that done now. So let's run through the desert of no sand. Which... And there's so many bizarre projects in this world. Like, I can even look back at, like, a year ago Toy Cat builds and say, just, what? why did I think that was a thing? And... Like, a part of me admires the amount of effort I put into these projects, and a part of me goes, like, I have spent so much time in Minecraft. Again, both good thoughts, but very different, bizarre ones. So, now we're just going to take one of these minecarts, punch it up. We're going to take it over there, and we're going to do the final test of does our thing even make sense? Because if it doesn't, then, you know, what are we even doing here? But if it does, then that's very good news indeed. So, I think I will, I, I think I'll just, like, save off this, because I don't want to lose the last 10 minutes or whatever. And, uh, but I'll save just before we do this, because I think there's a good chance we'll die. I've never actually tested, like, fooling to your death in a minecart. Like, I probably should have. Oh, you know, this, okay, this is, like, live test for some future fun facts about a falling video, or fun facts about minecart. But I do not generally know right now if you take falling damage when you're in one, because a part of me says you have to, and a part of me says, but do you? So let's, let's find out, because that, that might be, like, a really cool random little tip, like, Ever, ever feel like you're about to fall to your death? Hop in a minecart, and that way you won't. So, okay, let's let's do this. So it's gonna go three blocks over the edge. Let's just say two blocks because it's really, really close. Oh no! Okay, I died. You take falling damage, by the way. I don't know if I saved there, so I'm gonna have to like watch back the video because I generally have no idea. I hope you did all enjoy today's episode of the Update Adventures Let's Play. Uh, next week, we're going to be maybe trying to get some cool new enchantments. But who knows? I'll probably change my mind in like the week it takes for this gop. Hope you did all enjoy this episode of the Update Adventures Let's Play. Like it if you did like it. Share if you really liked it. And subscribe if you're new around here. Because I make videos like this one every single day on my channel. And if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Thank you all very much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. That was, that was the worst test ever, by the way.